So just before I came up here, I had to deliver some sad news to Mark Scalia, one of our judges this evening. Um, as you all probably know, today Swiss mountain climber Uli Steck died. And uh, as we all know, Mark is an avid outdoorsman, an alpiner, and uh, he took the news pretty rough. He said, no, that's not true, that didn't happen, there's no proof. And I said, Mark, he's dead, that happened. You're thinking of the Holocaust. <laughs> I'm glad the weather's warming up. Uh, if it's anything like it was last year, we're gonna have a beautiful spring, beautiful summer. Last summer was nice, we had some warm days, we had some hot days, we had some days where I probably should have cracked a window before locking my kids in the car. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to thank you all for coming out to the wake, it means a lot. I'd also like to thank McGinty's Funeral Home for their two for one deal. That's two kids, one coffin. <laughs> It's a hell of a savings, and now the little tykes get to share a bunk bed for all eternity. <laughs> do you guys think that Helen Keller ever swore at her parents? And if she did, do you think they ever threatened to wash her hands out with soap? <laughs> That's a thinking joke. That's not for everyone. <laughs> when I was a child, I had a teacher who made inappropriate sexual advances toward me. She put her hand down the front of my pants, and when I told her to stop, she slapped me in my face and called me a queer. And I decided then, no, never again. I'm done with homeschooling. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had someone walk in on you during sex? That's embarrassing, right? I was getting a blow job and I had this woman walk in on us and she didn't say, excuse me. She didn't say, I'm sorry. She didn't even close the door. What she said was, sir, you're blocking her feeding tube. <laughs> And I said, bitch, right now I am her feeding tube. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty clever, and I wasn't the only one. I mean, you could tell the security guard didn't want to tase me. <laughs> but if any of you ladies are in the market for an emergency contact, I'm down. <laughs> um, have you ever made love to someone so passionate, so powerful, so transcendent that you thought to yourself, man, I might let this one live. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I heard about this gay guy that got lynched recently, and I know there's a lot of people here who would joke about something like that, but not me, because that's just low-hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to talk about my mom. She wasn't around when I was growing up. When I was two years old, she left me, my little sister, and my dad for some guy named Cancer, and we never saw her again. <laughs> And my dad, bless his heart, he would make up all kinds of excuses for her. He'd say, no, son, you don't understand. She had cancer all in her breasts. And I'd say, dad, I don't need to hear about her sexual proclivities. <laughs> Mom's a whore and I hope she dies. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. And I keep hearing about this one diet called an ethnic cleanse. A couple of bald guys at work are trying to get me into it. And at first I thought it was going to be some sort of juice fest, but they really seem to hate juice. <laughs> They say things like, all the world's problems are caused by juice, and our blood is being contaminated by juice, and the media is run by juice. That one I don't really understand. But I know you can't have egg yolks because they feel very strongly about whites only. And they incorporate some sort of CrossFit lifting regimen where you're standing in a stranger's yard in the middle of the night, and they're like, okay, we've dug this hole, now help us make this CrossFit. <laughs> And so you do this diet for a few weeks, and then you run their version of a 5K called the Master Race, and I think I'm going to compete. <laughs> My grandfather used to say, this too shall pass. My father would say, all's well that ends well. And my uncle would say, you guys have had it twice already, when's my turn? <laughs> my girlfriend asked me why I don't watch romantic movies, and I said, I do. Love Actually is one of my favorite films. She said, no, that's romantic comedy. There's a difference. The difference is uh, a romance is more like A Walk to Remember or Sweet November. And I said, so movies where the female lead dies in the end? Honey, I watch those on the deep web all the time. <laughs> I just had a blood test done, and it turns out I'm one quarter Native American, which I think explains why I try to use every part of the hooker. <laughs> Yes. 
There was a betting pool at work recently because one of the girls there was pregnant, so they put money on whether she was going to have a boy or have a girl, and I put my money on miscarriage. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm not real popular around the office right now. What, Probably because they're jealous I won $50. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah!